Hello everyone. I have been part of many discussions on whether we should use ChatGDP for research and academic writing or not. And also recently, this summer, I've been to several conferences. Some of them had sessions focused on education and learning and also about new technologies. So there I have attended several presentations on discussions about whether we should use ChatGDP or other generative AI tools and technologies for research and uh, academic writing. But it was very difficult for me to really like come to a conclusion. And I think many of us, we couldn't reach a con conclusion, right? We have been seeing many debates in social media and LinkedIn in different places, in conferences, and also in the departments and so on. But we couldn't, I think, reach any concrete conclusions. So last night, one of my friend, who is also a scholar, so he was asking me about it, you know, so what should we really do and so on. And then we started the discussion kind of in a logical process and we reached a solution. The solution is very simple. The first question we should ask ourselves is that, you know, whether ChatGDP can write better than us or better quality than us. So if the answer is no, then of course you should write it yourself because it cannot write better than you. But if the answer is yes, so if ChatGDP can write better than you, most likely you have to work a bit on your writing skills. Academic writing is not only about writing English, right? There are um, different norms in the academic writing. So I'm not getting into that, but but in short, I actually decided that I don't want to use ChatGDP for my scientific work. I use it for other purposes. I use it for getting information quickly. I use it for making some uh, catchy video uh, titles and, and so on. I use it for getting ideas. Sometimes I also use it for checking grammars in my writing and so on. But also for checking grammars, you know, I have a Grammarly subscription and I'm very satisfied with it. And I think Grammarly does a very good job. Some people might argue that we can do some analysis of data and this and that and so on. But you know, I would prefer to do data analysis using R or Python or MATLAB or any other statistical software where we know that the analysis is robust, we can see all the process, we can manipulate uh, the parameters for like for the analysis purpose and so on. So in short, I have decided that I'm not going to use ChatGDP for research and uh, scientific works. Also, I think it's a question of ethics. So when we publish something, we have the copyright issues and so on. So I cannot claim something written by ChatGDP as my own. Okay, so I can write things myself and then I can say, okay, I improve the text and so on using some AI tools or so on, but I don't want to claim, I, I cannot claim authority or I cannot claim authorship of something that has been written by ChatGDP. So that's where I stand. I hope you find it useful.